Well, there's a shortage of mental health care professionals across the nation, something that comprehensive health care in Yakima is struggling with. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us that they are taking a new approach to try to change that. Comprehensive health care officials tell me that limited flight options and a concern about lack of access to specialized medical care in the Yakima community oftentimes may prevent candidates from coming in across the country. That's why they're looking a little closer to home. Central Washington University hit pause on their mental health counseling graduate program last year due to staffing issues. We had four faculty and then we only had one. <laughs> left. Um, so that made it difficult to continue. But now Comprehensive Healthcare is giving them $770,000 to start their program back up and hire new staff to support it. It's the number one asked about graduate program at the university currently. Um, so I think the demand is there. And the need for qualified mental health counselors is high. We have still struggled post-COVID with um, really having high turnover rates for behavioral health specialists, but also having a number of positions open that have been open 12 plus months. So it's still a huge issue. The hope that CWU's master's level program will create a pipeline to get more behavioral therapists in the door and staying long term. We really try to connect to those individuals that have family, have roots here, and that really want to stay in their, serve, in their communities and serve. So I think it's a high probability. The university will start hiring for those positions soon with the goal of starting classes in January 2025. If all goes as planned, Comprehensive Healthcare says they could see those new candidates coming out of that program as early as the summer of 2026. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.